Here we're going to look at the uh, transcritical bifurcation. Um, the normal form is uh, x dot dx dt equals rx minus x squared. This is a one-dimensional bifurcation in a differential equation. So to analyze the transcritical bifurcation, we first look at the uh, fixed points of uh, this differential equation. So that's when the right-hand side equals 0. So rx minus x squared equals 0. We can factor out an x. So x times r minus x equals 0. So there are two fixed points, right? x star equal to 0 and uh, x star equal to r. And this is for all r. Both fixed points exist for all r. OK. Um, so let's see what happens to the uh, stability of the fixed points. So we're considering the stability. So our differential equation has a rx minus x squared on the right-hand side. So uh, our f of x say is rx minus x squared. So the stability depends on the derivative of the right-hand side, f prime of x, which is r minus 2x. So if we look at the fixed points, the first one, x star equals 0, we have the derivative at this fixed point is equal to r. Okay. The second fixed point, x star equal to r, the derivative at this fixed point is equal to r minus 2r is minus r. Okay. So when f prime is negative, the fixed point is stable. When f prime is positive, the fixed point is unstable. So we have these two fixed points with these signs of the derivative. So what can we say? We can say that x star equals 0 is when is it stable and when is it unstable. Well, it's stable when f prime is negative, so when r is negative. So it's stable when r is less than 0. And it's unstable when f prime of 0 is positive, so it's unstable when r is larger than 0. OK, so that's the first, first fix, fixed point. Uh, it changes its stability as r crosses 0 from stable to unstable. If we look at the second fixed point, x star equal to um, r, when is this one stable? When is this one unstable? The uh, derivative is minus r. So when r is negative, the derivative is positive. So it's unstable now when r is less than 0. And when r is positive, the derivative is negative. So it's stable when r is greater than 0. Okay. So we have two fixed points for all r x star equals 0 and x star equals r. The 0 fixed point is stable for negative r, unstable for positive r. The r fixed point is, stable, is unstable for negative r, stable for positive r. So in, uh, when one is stable, the other one is unstable. Okay. So let's draw um, three graphs. We're going to draw x dot versus x to see what's happening uh, during this bifurcation at r equals 0. So I'll draw three graphs here. x dot versus x. OK. Um, our equation is uh, x dot equal to rx minus x squared. 
and we want to see what's going on here. So here is before the bifurcation, r less than 0. Here is at the bifurcation, r equals 0. And here is um, above the bifurcation, r greater than 0. Okay. So what is the graph of this thing for r less than 0, rx minus x squared? There's two fixed points. Fixed point at x equals 0 here, and a fixed point at x equals r. r is negative, so that would be somewhere here. It has a minus x squared. Um, so that the graph of the function will look something like like this one, right? Okay. Now we can, uh, we already calculated the stability, right? So this one is stable. The uh, zero is unstable. We can see this by drawing the behavior of x. Here, if x is here, x dot is negative. So if we start here, we move this direction. If we start in here, we move in a positive direction. And if we start positive x, we move in negative direction. So I think I said that wrong. Um, in fact, the, um, the negative uh, x star equal r is unstable here, unstable for r less than 0 right? So this one is unstable, this one is stable, so I'm going to fill this one in, fill it in red, and this one is open. So we have two fixed points here. Uh, this one, the negative one is unstable, r equals 0 is stable, okay? So what happens then when r equals 0, then minus x squared, so this graph it's just the standard upside-down quadratic. Um, there's one fixed point here. Let me draw that red. Right here on the left side, uh, x dot is negative, so we're moving negative. Here it's negative, moving in. So this one has this half stability. If you perturb x to positive values, you move back in, but if you perturb to negative values, you run away. And then what happens when r is positive? Well, when r is positive, there are two fixed points, again, always two fixed points. There's one at the origin. There's one now at r still, and r is positive. Um, and if we draw our graph, then we have some maximum value, and we cross here. This is a quadratic. Quadratic. Sorry, my drawing's not so brilliant, but you can see what's going on here. This is a quadratic function. Uh, x dot is negative here, so we're moving to smaller values if we start at x here. It's positive here, we're moving this way and it's negative here, we're moving in. So this fixed point here is the stable one, and this one's the unstable one. R equals, uh, x equals 0 is the unstable one. So let's look at this diagram. We have two fixed points when r is negative. R equal, uh, x equals 0 is the stable one. Two fixed points. As we increase r, these two fixed points come together. The top of this graph drops down. These two fixed points come together here. And then as r becomes positive, they separate again. And we've had an exchange of stability. So here the x equals 0 fixed point was stable. And as the fixed points cross each other, the um, the x equals r fixed point then becomes un becomes stable, and the x equals 0 fixed point becomes unstable. So we say there's been an exchange of stability of these two fixed points. Okay? 
This is the transcritical bifurcation. So we can draw the uh, bifurcation diagram. So let me do that. So this is the bifurcation diagram. This is our bifurcation parameter. This is the fixed point. So the fixed point as a function of the bifurcation parameter, R. Um, let me draw this diagram in red. So when R is negative, there's a fi the fixed point is um, 0 and R. And the R equals 0 fixed point is the stable one. R equals 0 fixed point. Sorry, x equals 0. This fixed point here is x equals 0. So when r is negative, the x equals 0 fixed point is the stable one. So we have the stable fixed point is here. And then this x equals 0 fixed point becomes unstable at the bifurcation point. So this is unstable, dash for unstable, solid for stable. Um, the other fixed point is x star equals r, which is just this straight line here. It's unstable when r is negative, and then becomes stable when r is positive. Okay. So the bifurcation diagram shows us the the exchange of stability. The um, this fixed point here uh, is stable, and then uh, this and this lower fixed point here, x star equals r, is unstable. And then as they cross, they exchange stability. So the x star equals 0 fixed point becomes unstable. The x star equals r fixed point becomes stable.